Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tina. If you don't know me, if you do know me, what's going on? Let's pop it. So, been working on the camper. This video is not sponsored. You're welcome. Been working on the camper. Yesterday, I reupholstered our bar seats with this blanket that I had. I've had for a while now. And they came out so cute. So basically what I did was I, I took out the staples from the fabric that was holding everything together. And I didn't bother to take the previous fabric off because it was so thin that it wouldn't have mattered. And I liked the extra cushion. I just cut out a piece of fabric that was going to fit and I folded it up and stapled it in on the corners. I did a special little fold, just kind of tucked everything in where it needed to go so you wouldn't see the large corner bulge. We are very anti-corner bulge over here. Then I ended up painting all of the walls in the camper white and that took all day yesterday because turns out three coats in a camper takes all day. I was also delusional and developed a mild case of carpal tunnel, but it came out so good and I absolutely love the way it turned out. Um, I was a little iffy about painting my walls white because I think it's so boring, but I totally get why people do it now. The color that we used was uh, Valspar statuesque. And side note, we didn't use primer on anything because the paint has primer already. I saw a couple comments in the last video, so I thought I'd clear that up really quick. But today we're gonna be doing a lot of artsy stuff. Mystery Man also got the metal for this wall, so we might be cutting that. Probably not today. But we're gonna cut that, acid wash it, and then nail it up on this wall. So we're not gonna, we're, I didn't bother painting this wall because it's just gonna be covered up. So yeah, I think I've caught you up to date. Today I'm gonna do this mural and maybe finish the bar stools. I'm really excited to have a weekend because then Mystery Man can help me with a lot of it, but he has to go to work, so I am on my own during the day, which it's peaceful, but it's I'm so bored. I call him like every 10 minutes, I'm like, I miss you. I don't think that's clean. Our marriage counselor says it's healthy. Oh, bada bing, bada boom. Do I need to update you on anything else? I don't think so. Let me give you a quick tour and then we'll just jump right into the um, mural time lapse. Here we are in this world, room, area. Okay, so we painted it white. Cute. We also did up there. Cute. We also did there. But our um, metal wall is going to stop right there. It's going to be interesting to see how it looks with the yellow fridge, but I'll get over it because we've already made that decision. That's basically all I did. We took, we cleaned it up a little bit just because it was driving me nuts. Here's the bar stools that we are going to redo later. And here is our mural station. All right, let's do a time lapse. Y'all, it's done. There it is in all its glory. Isn't it so cool? Look at it. Hungry for Fords. Booyah, baby. So life hack, if you ever need a rough outline, use a projector and then go back and perfect it yourself. Because, and I find no shame in that. It's still your art if you paint it. Okay, and ain't nobody made something like this. Now, first before I begin the mural on this wall, right here, I would like to thank Kendall Ray and Stephanie Sue for their true crime series that has been getting me through these Art sweats, oh mine, okay? I've just been listening to True Crime Out the Wall Zoo. We're gonna do the quote on these walls over yonder. And I know what you're thinking, what's the quote? Well, wait and see, okay? So, hey, sorry, I forgot to come on again and film me showing the finished wall. So, here we go. It's by Mandolin Orange. It's the song that I'm gonna walk down to when we get married. I know, corny, I know. The, ly the lyrics are, um, I've just seen that rock of ages. I've just held my savior's hand. We danced on the water with my head on her shoulder. She swore to never let me fall. Wouldn't time seem so kindly if every bright eyed girl could be more like you and shelter me from the wrecking ball. Um, and I've made a couple of mistakes. Turns out it is, was a time, seems so kindly, not wooden time, but makes more sense and that's how we sing it. So Mystery Man's okay with the error. He says it adds character. Um, and now J is backwards. Silly girl. And I also forgot to mention it, but this mural right here on that wall was actually um, inspired by Mystery Man's father collected all these Odd Rod cards. Those are what the cards are called. You can look them up on Google. I'll put some pictures here. He handed them down to Mystery Man. So 
he really likes that, likes that art style. It's kind of the same art style as Rap Fink. Not really, but monsters and cars, cool. I put it on that wall, he loves it. But look them up, because they're so cool. They're called Odd Rods. And then we got into making the chairs. Finishing the bar stools. I'm sanding, and it's not fun at all. And I just healed, I healed, not like healed, healed. I, I healed the corner of this thing. <laughs> Uh, it started bleeding a lot, <laughs> but it's okay. We don't have time for injury, therefore it's time to go. Sanding is just not cool, but I don't feel right um, not showing y'all some of the process, so. I'm usually a very patient, positive person. Charismatic, charming, and just all around a great woman, as I've heard from other people's mouths. But when it comes to sanding, I will literally sand the skin off of my hands if it means I never had to sand another item in my life again. And not to enforce gender roles, but I think sanding is a man's job. Men, that's a man's, that's a man's world, sanding. I'll paint and prime and stain and stud all I want, but ask me to sand something, suddenly I can't. Like I said, patient, kind, caring, charismatic, charming. Um, Time to stain. I just had to come to the workshop because I can't stain that in the rain, so we're gonna do it in here instead. And I don't wanna do it inside either because I don't wanna breathe it in. Let's do a what's in my purse haul. We've got some paper towels. We've got like eight boxes of brass nails. We've got classic wood penetrating stain in classic black. We've got some true lime and a pair of socks. Awesome stuff. Let's start staining. That's what's been happening. <laughs> uh. And I'm sp they're supposed to be two inches apart, but then I just stopped caring. Lazy, lazy. This is not an example of what you should be. You should measure. I just won't. That's pretty good if you ask me. Okay, of course when I turn the camera on, it looks so easy. Y'all get the gist. Okay, I'm surprised my thumb is still on. We just finished one. I think it looks great, but I will say that these furniture nails are actually the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Not to be dramatic, but they are so difficult to manage. But here we go, let's go. Final stretch, y'all. Good morning. Okay, I finished the bar stools. That's what they look like. Aren't they so cute? I also finished the wall. Okay, but now we're gonna move on. And this will probably be the last part of this video. Um, I'm gonna paint this, I'm gonna paint this, and I'm gonna paint this. Hey y'all, I'm actually kind of a dumb butt and I, th I keep thinking that I'm filming, but then I don't, and it it's really making my life as a YouTuber a little bit hard, but it's okay, we will get better. Unfortunately, when I time-lapsed painting the bedroom, I... <laughs> Look, here, hear me out, crazy funny story. So, I got a phone call. Never turned it back on again, so that was my fault. We got a couple of coats with the copper looking paint, more rose gold, but it's so pretty, came out so good. We actually got this for the kitchen backsplash, but I thought it would look cuter in here, so I did it in here. The dresser is also green, don't mind down there, I have to do another coat right there. I just wanted to shove the drawers in for the sake of the video. And there is the outcome of the purple vanity with the cute funky wallpaper and then up to about right there is where we're gonna do tile backsplash. This green right here is actually Valspar crushed oregano. This rose goldy color is this deco art Americana decor metallic paint in rose gold. It took a lot of coats so if you ever want to do this sand 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 and lots and lots of patience. And then this purple right here is actually wine glass by Valspar as well. So that's where we are. I think it looks so good. Much better and Mystery Man's gonna put concrete right there. Isn't it cute? I broke that. Don't ever let me have anything nice. Here, we actually have a surprise in here because we changed our mind. We're not gonna do the matchboxes anymore, but we thought of something a lot cooler. And then for the kitchen backsplash, I guess, which we totally might regret because a hot stove plus steam might not be the best for peel and stick, but we're gonna put some blue back there as well just to reinforce the stickiness of the paper. But can you see? This is the only way that I could look at it to where it makes sense to me, but 
that wallpaper back there, which is also from Opal House at Target, is what we're gonna do. Super cute, right? We mystery man, close this off, right? Put a piece of wood, sanded it, he talks about it. So, I took to this wall, I sanded it, filled in all the little holes, prepped it for all the, uh, the, uh, wallpaper. <laughs> Came out really nice. Don't worry about that, it's all gonna be covered down there. No one's gonna see it, no one's gonna care. And if you remember, there's a microwave right up here, or something like that, and this just looked awful. <sighs> so, I cut this piece, screwed it on, putted it up, sanded it down. It's ready for paint, which is about to happen right meow. And then, uh, then we can throw wallpaper in there, and then we can, uh, move on. Then, he put insulation back up in here, and this isn't too bad. We're gonna cover it with metal, and then maybe get back to it some more, but he's starting to cover that up. Here's footage. <sighs> nice That's pretty, fit. pretty toy right there. Look at that one, look how good that one is. What, so what you doing? Well, I put this wood in the back to replace the rotten stuff, and it's glued on. And then this is some insulation. I'm gonna tape the edge just to thin it up, but I don't. I think that's what I'm gonna do. But other than that, I mean, we're gonna cover it in metal, so. So I think that's about as far as we got for this video. It was all over the place, I'm really sorry, but it's just a compilation of the week's work, I guess. I'm so excited to get floors in because that's gonna make the biggest difference ever. And I'm, it's gonna feel but tune in to the next video to see what we do with the infamous ugly wall. Not only the wall, but you're going to see what we do with the kitchen island too. And maybe another mural or two because it's a little too quiet in here for me. Overall, I'm super happy with how everything's turning out. I can't wait to see you guys again if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram. You totally can. I don't know if, it seemed, if these videos seem a little repetitive to you because you just keep seeing the same things and very little progress is being seen. But we're taking it step by step so you're going to have to bear with me, okay? And this is real life. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time, very soon. And peace and love and five things I'm thankful for is funky peel and stick wallpaper, mystery man, pretty paint, good weather, and you guys. All right, I think that's all I got. Peace out, peace and love. Talk to you later.